two things to show you. One thing I knew, one thing that's new to me, I didn't realize you could do this. So, drop down lists, they are searchable now in Excel, Excel 365. So if I search for street, all the cities that have street in the name show up. I can select one and I've got a little formula that works out the average height. But what I didn't realize is you can put an asterisk, shift and eight in there and that works. But I haven't allowed that character, it just goes in there, I can't block it. Like bracket, that doesn't work, okay? Uh, question mark, that doesn't work, okay? A, that doesn't work. None of those work, but an asterisk does and it gives you the grand total, the, the sum of the, all of the items. Um, that's crazy. If you're interested in knowing how I built this, stay tuned. So here we go. Let's start with um, this list, okay, equals unique. All right, I'm gonna go to my list of data down the bottom here. Um, there's the cities, control space bar, press enter. There's the nice list. Um, wrap it in a sort to get a nice, nice alphabetical listing. Beautiful, okay. Then maybe an average ifs. Okay, so average if, going back to my data, average this centimeters column, comma, click on the city, control space bar, comma, and I could go and click back on the input cell, but I'm just gonna do a, a one and then close the bracket. So there's the little one, why do I do that? Well, so I can double click on the one now and go and click on my input cell. You don't get that horrible sheet reference in front of it. Okay, so there we go. So how did I create the drop-down list? Well, it's simply, let's go to the data tab and then across to data validation. And it's simply this, it's equals, you click on the start of that spilling range and you press the hash key. Okay, there we go. And now this is a nice drop-down list and it's instantly searchable. So if I search for, I don't know, every city that has, or every place that has city in the name, there we go, City Beach is in Perth. Lovely. Okay, but what I didn't realize is that even though that's a distinct list, Asterix just works. Okay, um, if you did want it to be a bit more obvious, you could actually do a V stack. All right, so you could V stack the Asterix, okay, with the rest of you know, your original list, close the bracket on the end, and there it is there, which means that it'll then show up at the top of your drop-down list as well. There we go, pretty cool.